Hi, welcome to One Touch Networks. Today we'll provide you a tutorial on how to create a hunt group in the AT&T Collaborate Business Center web portal. Let's begin. First, we are in the AT&T homepage, Collaborate homepage, and we'll focus on the service action window, which is located on the lower right hand corner. We'll click on the hunt group link. And this will take us into a page that would show all, any active hunt groups in our account. But we'll create a new hunt group. And by clicking on the link that's on the left hand side, it will take us to a page that will allow us to input the information of the new hunt group we'll be creating. First, we'll select a phone number. This number will become the pilot number of this hunt group. Next, we'll provide or create the um, a name for this hunt group and this would be our service department. We'll leave the next field as none because we have uh, didn't create a service department so and that's fine. So the time zone will select Pacific time. Next thing we'll do is select any available users that are part of the service department you could select all four, but we just realized Jane Doe is actually in sales. And so we'll leave her out. And so in this hunt group, there are three users. Next, we'll select the group policy. I'll pause here for a second and explain the different options we can select. Group policy basically means how a call is being routed once it hits the hunt group. And we have five options to choose. The first option, which is fairly popular, is when a call comes into the hunt group, it's being routed to the agents in the order they appear in the list, starting with the agent following the last agent to receive a call. When the caller reaches the end of the list, it loops back to the top and it will continue on down the list until the call is answered. The second option is the regular option. Basically, any incoming calls are routed in the hunt group through agents in the order they appear in the list starting from the top each time. Third option is the simultaneous option which is the most popular option to choose. Basically calls are being alerted on all agents phone at the same time. The first agent to answer the, the call handles the call. Fourth option is the uniform option. Calls are being routed through all agents in order, starting with the agent who has been idled the longest and ending with the agent who most recently answered the call. The last option is the weighted call distribution. Incoming calls are routed to idle agents based on percentages that you assign on the hunt group's profile. And that is something you can do after the hunt group profile has been created. And we're gonna continue and we're going to select the option that is most popular, which would be the simultaneous option. Okay, next you will have um, several features that you can enable. Um, some of them are irrelevant because you've chosen the simultaneous option. However, we'll select the option that allows us to forward the calls after a certain period of time. So let's say after two minutes, a uh, call hasn't been picked up we can forward that call to either voicemail box or to any other numbers, perhaps to another call center or to another hunt group. Also, uh, in the event that the calls can't be reached to your hunt group, you can have them automatically call for it to another number. I also like to enable a feature of the calling line ID setting which allows me to see the call or the hunt group the call is coming from if I am in multiple hunt groups. And then you have other features that you can enable such as the calling line ID. We normally leave these as default, um, but you can go through them and select any options that you feel is pertinent to your business situation. And after we're done, we select and we see a success window pop up and we just, we've just created a new hunt group. And there, you can see on the upper right hand corner, you are, uh, we're viewing the service profile. Uh, so that is the hunt group that we've just created. 
Um, and that's the tutorial. So if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email or give us uh, provide a comment in the comment box below. If you like this tutorial, feel free to give us a like. We always appreciate that. And sign up for a subscriber to our One Touch Network channel as we'll be providing more tutorials in the months ahead. Thank you very much for joining us today. We'll see you next time.